Shalom Juan Esherala. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the, our teachers, the apostle, a great millstone, and salutation to you sincere I can push in this truth across the four winds without fear and trembling. I pulled out that clip because I'm about to go in on these boneheaded Christians that have uprised in these last days to try to combat this truth. All right? The most high in the book of Luke. The 21st chapter, he said, I give you a mouth full of wisdom. The game says can't resist. All right. And, and wisdom mutates. All right. One of those uh, Pharisees said in the scriptures, he said, uh, if this thing be of the most high, you can't stop it. But if this thing be of men, it'll be destroyed. He said that 2000 years ago. And guess, look at this. This doctrine is global. has mutated. So. When, when you read up on history back then when the Pharisees tried to stop this truth and when the, the Rome came down on this truth all right it kept growing it kept growing and the people that was bringing it down trying to tear it down they dumbasses don't what, what, what the modern day Romans don't understand they was getting turned you had Pharisees uh, believing on Yahweh Shire. You had Romans like uh, like uh, Cornelius and his house and other uh, uh, Hellenistic uh, Jews that started believing. When you got an Asia Minor, all right, when you will have always have Israelites coming against it, but then you will have some that believe. That shows you the most I have these fucking idiots in a trick bread, trick, trick bag, Vocab Malone, Gino Jennings, uh, Creflo Dollar, uh, uh, what's that faggot in Dallas? Um, TD Jakes, TD Snakes. This what they don't understand, but they don't know you how about shit. I was shot, man. When they're publicizing us and demonizing us, a lot of people in those multitudes because those are multitudes. The, the scriptures in Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, say they come to the hall of hot. They come to the hall of hall of houses in a troop. So a troop is a a lot of men. All right, thousands of men. But my point is, a lot of them haven't even heard about this thing of ours. So when you go demonizing them, you putting them on display, and you putting them on the air for all to see. And vocab, he's trying to demonize us but what he don't know when people hear him when the, his followers hear us they're going to go to youtube and see what, what what is he talking about and when he don't know this is a cancer to what they approve trying to push you're going to have pe uh, people that listen to vocab and subscribe to his philosophy td jakes gino jillings and then when they come to this go to the internet and pull up a great millstone camp or uh, pull up a great millstone brother edifying with videos they're going to get turned that demonized publicity that their teachers trying to demonize with, they're giving that public, they're publicizing this doctrine to people that don't, wasn't even thinking about it. People that didn't even hear about it. People that didn't know nothing about us. And guess what? They're going to get turned. They, they got a, they have a leg that's in that Christian in church. You might have. A few elect that's in T.D. Jake's church. You might have a few elect that follow uh, uh, vocab and Geno Jennings, the bitch ass niggas. And what they're causing for harm, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, would turn around and make good come of it. And that's really going to send them crazy. But I'm about to go through a few, a few precepts and show that's been going on since the beginning of time. Since Yahweh by Shimei Awashai came to the planet pushing his truth. You always had uprisings and when when the when the heads of our people would try to demonize and stop this truth uh the multitude out of the multitude you always had people that would hear it and believe all right so i'm gonna start off at i'm gonna come back to x 28 i'm gonna start off at jeremiah 7 no x 17 all right i'm gonna start from the top this act 17 and 1 now when they had passed through and Philippus and Apollonia, Apollonia, all right, Apollonia was a city in uh, Macedonia, all right, that's what uh, they, it's named after that, that foreign power that a lot of our people was worshiping, Apollyon, okay, 
And that's the the feminine way of saying a polyon, a polyonia. All right. They came to Thessalonia, Thessalonica, where was where the synagogue of the Jews. All right. That's our people. All right. We was all throughout Asia Minor, man. And our people dwelt, and our people were Hellenized. All right. And Paul, as his manner was, went into them. Three Sabbath days reason with them out of the scriptures. Now, these people that didn't believe Yahweh shot. All right. And Paul went pushing this sound doctrine, faith in Yahweh shot. All right. He's he's the deliverer. He's the one that the law and the prophet spoke about. All right. You have to believe on him to be delivered. OK. Opening and alleging that the anointed must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead. And that this Yahweh Shai, whom I preach to you, is the anointed. All right. And that's what we're teaching. We're teaching the same doctrine Paul taught. And some of them believe. All right. Now, that's the point. Some of them believe. All right. Some of them believe. When, but before Paul came, they hadn't heard nothing about him. They didn't hear nothing about him. They didn't know of his fame throughout Asia Minor. But when Paul, yeah, throughout all of Judea and Israel, they did. But when Paul went to all these, uh, to these places throughout Asia Minor, these Roman provinces, they hadn't heard, heard about Yahweh Shai. But when he came, they believed, all right? The multitudes always, the, the bulk didn't, but it always was a, 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 a remnant of the people that believed, okay? So when they get, get on here and demonize us, it's going to be some people that all this exposure we're getting, they're going to look on the internet and they're going to look at the apostles. You know, the apostles lethal. They're sharp with this doctrine. They're going to look at these various camps, these brothers pushing this truth. They're going to look at the brothers on the highways, the way we dissect the truth, the, these scriptures and surgical with them. And they're going to hear precepts and the doctrine they never heard before. And we're going to teach with authority, with the uh, spirit of, that's upon us. And they're going to get turned for the good. All right. All right. Now, where was I? And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude. Our people are Hellenized Greeks, man. All right. Israelites, according to the flesh, they have taken on the, the uh, ways of the Greeks. OK, that's all that's in that motherfucking Christianity church. All right. They're devout fucking Greeks. But guess what? When they heard this doctrine, they believe we're in the book of Acts again. The same thing is happening again. All right. It said a great multitude. When you, when, uh, T.D. Jakes, his venue has a great multitude. All right? T.D. Jakes and Geno Jennings, they have a multitude of people that listen to them, okay? And of the chief, uh, chief women, not a few. So when they heard, there's a lot of people believe. That's why the scriptures say he, the, the apostles turned the world upside down, man. All right? But the Jews which believe not, vocab, T.D. Jakes, the sellouts, all right, the wicked, moved with envy. See, they are envious. That's why they're coming against us. They see that people are leaving the Christian church. They see people are waking up. Now they're en envious because they, they money getting taken away from them. They're not making what they usually make, all right? And their Uncle Tom's in spirit, so they, they, mass, they see Master mad. So, look, we need to appease Master. They took it to them certain lewd fellows of the Bezer sort. That's to, that's our vocab Malone and those guys he bring with him, those those sellout niggas he bring with him to mock this truth. All right, nothing new under the sun, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar. All right, and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. And when they had found them not, they drew Jason and certain brother into the rulers of the city crying. See, that's what they're going to do. They're going to take us to the, rule, the rulers and the nobles. But uh, our great king say, don't worry what you shall say before them in Matthew the 10th chapter. He said, because I will put my words in your mouth. OK, these have turned the world upside down and come hither also. That's what T.D. Jakes say. When T.D. Jakes got on that clip, ran and rave and he said, uh, they got so many people that they can't even feed all of them. See, that's all they worried about, numbers. Because a lot of the people that follow us not going to be delivered. A lot of people that, that say, Yahweh Bashim al and act like they subscribing to this word, they not going to be delivered. Law willing, we are. Law willing, we are. I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be delivered. I'm a prisoner of hope, okay? All right. 
and we're turning the world upside down. That's why, all right, if we're bums, if we're junk food babies, all right, why are we getting so much attention? Why are y'all paying us so much attention if we're nothing? Vocab along. If we are nothing and we're just a, a, a bunch of idiots uh, teaching wicked heresies, you ignore a madman. When you see somebody foaming at the mouth and crazy in a bump, them bums be out there asking for money. Don't nobody pay attention to you. <laughs> Let your window up and you keep driving, man. You be like, damn, that guy looks crazy. But you don't go out there and entertain him and communicate with him and try to reason with him. The guy's talking to himself. He's foaming at the mouth. Only thing you gonna do at the most is call the police and say, man, you got somebody, a raving lunatic out there. So why are you wasting so much time and using so much of your resource flying from city to city? All this technology, setting up a radio show and shit for us. Because we, you know we have the truth in your spirit, all right? And light has no place with darkness. So we're at variance. We're at enmity with one another and they want us dead. At the end of the day, that's what it's going to boil down to. They're going to want us dead, okay? And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they heard had taken security of Jason, of the other, they let them go. And the most high going to deliver us because that uprising coming, that persecution coming, that real persecution. And he's going to deliver us. But I'm going to stay on topic. I'm going to stay on topic, all right? The multitudes... With, with, with these Christian pastors coming up to, to us, they have opened a forum of multitudes of millions. The most high have they dumb asses in a trick bag. Millions of people listen to TD Jakes. Millions of people listen to those guys on that TBN Trinity Broadcasting Network, man. All right? So they putting us, when all right, people going to look at that, they're going to be like, well, who are these guys they are talking about? They're going to go to YouTube and then they're going to bump into the rivers of living water. They even going to bump, a lot of them going to bump into the off camps, but they still going to learn their nationality. They going to bump into IUIC, AOC, you know, people with different doctrines, but they still going to learn their nationality and they're going to believe. But the ones that come to GMS, man, you got a lot of elect. You, you know, you got, you have a lot of elect come out those whole house. I came out the whole house. Lord willing, I'm of the elect. All right. This doctrine pulled me out. I was a devout Christian. I was devout Greek, like the scriptures say. All right. When I started listening to this, to this truth, I used to, went back asking my pa uh, pastor and he was an Edomite pastor questions. He, he His word wouldn't be answering my questions with scripture. He'd be like, where are you getting these questions from? Where does your sword? That's what he was worried about. I was like, damn, this is a devil. He wasn't worried about enlightening me, answering my questions. His question to me, where are you getting that from? Why are you asking me this? Where are you getting? That's, he wanted my source so he could attack it and demonize it. But instead of asking my scriptures, according to um, 1 Peter, the third chapter, the 15 to 16 verse, the scriptures say, answer every man when he asks a hope in Yahweh's shot. I would ask him questions according to the scriptures and he'll be worried about, well, what pricked your brain to ask that question? That's a devil. OK, that's the type of things that's going to happen when they oh, when, when this when this when these um, devils are persecuting us. You're going to have Christians that do the same thing I did. Well, these Hebrew Israelites say this and I never heard that in the scriptures. Why y'all never bought that out? What does this scripture mean? What does that scripture mean? Now they're going to have to go in their Bible. They can't just and we making it hard for them. Now they just can't get on on stage, hoop and holler. The Bible only come out if they on stage two hours, the scriptures might come out four minutes at the most. And the rest of the, the sermon, he's dancing, screaming. The music playing. That's some MK MK Ultra fucking um brainwashing uh tool and just uh showmanship. That's it. Tap dancing, shucking and jiving, and hooping and hollering. No scripture, no none of the spirit coming out, okay? Now I'm gonna skip back over to uh 28, we'll start at verse 17. Okay. Nothing new under the sun. We're in the book of Acts again. Acts 28 and 17. And it come to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. All right. Now these people were unbelievers. They knew their nationality, but they didn't uh believe on our great king. And they went 
and they were come together. And he said it to them, men and brethren. That's the only people Paul went to teach to, man. Those people throughout Asia Minor that he went to teach to were, were uh, Israelites according to the flesh. They was calling themselves Thessalonians, Laocidians, Philadelphians, all right? Smyrnians, Church of Smyrna, all those places the book or uh, Revelation 1 talk about, uh, Thi Thyatrians, all right? Ephesians, uh, Colossians, no different than us calling ourselves Mexicans, all right? North American Indians, uh, Louisianians, all right? New Yorkans, Californians, Americans, nothing no different. Jamaicans, Bah Bahamians, Cubans, all right? That's the, those are the people that Paul talked to. He was just, they were just getting called by their by words. They were Hellenized, but according to the flesh, they were Israelites according to the flesh. They lost their customs, their culture, and their nationality. And they took up, they were Hellenized, taking on the ways of the heathens, okay? That's who Paul taught. Though I have committed against the people or customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. Now, why, why, why did they deliver him? Because he was preaching Yahweh shot. All right? You, you going to lock this little man up for teaching about Yahweh shot? All right? And just like they came down Paul on Paul because he was saying our king is coming, he's going to rule this earth. That's what the modern day Romans, Romans are going to say. Y'all talking about America being destroyed and somebody taking over it. Y'all insurgents. Y'all insurgents. They're going to do the same thing to Paul. Like they bound Paul and beheaded Paul. They're going to do that to a lot of us. Okay. Who, when they examined me, will have let me go because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained unto appeal unto Caesar. Not that I had to accuse my nation of. For this call, therefore, I called you for you to see you and to speak with you. Because that, for the hope of Israel, I am bound with the chain. All right? And they said unto him, we never received letters, letters out of Judea concerning thee. Judea concerning thee. Neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. So he's talking about, we, we've heard that you Hebrew Israelites are off. We heard that you Israelites are crazy. We heard that people are speaking negatively about you. But see, they gonna, they gave ear. See that exposure, that what the most high use for negativity, they gave ear. That's what's happening now. Vocab alone, you stupid, dumb bitch. You're going to make the people that you're trying to turn against us give an ear to us. And let's see what happened when they gave ear to Paul. Nothing new under the sun. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many unto him, unto his lodging. So you'll have motherfuckers coming out that Christian church, coming to the campsites because of you niggas. What you causing for harm, the most I'm going to use for good. And they're going to come lodge and listen. All right. To whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of Yahweh. That's what we're doing. Persuading them concerning Yahweh shot. We are preaching Yahweh shot. OK, both of the law of Moses and out of the prophets. That's what we are taught. He was prophesied to come from the law and the prophets. That's what we're teaching. All right. That's what we're teaching. He was prophesied in um, Genesis, uh, the 49th chapter, Exodus, the 23rd chapter, Numbers, the 24th chapter. OK. He was prophesied uh, in Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. OK. Uh, what else? Isaiah, the 10th chapter, all throughout Isaiah, man. All right, uh, Isaiah the 54th chapter, I, I think, 53 or 54. He's all throughout the law and the prophets, prophesied to come, man. Okay? And out of the prophets from morning to evening. So he got it in. That said from morning to evening, but Paul was getting it in. Huh. Sounds familiar? Sounds like Elder Tahar. You see, what is the mark putting up videos from morning to evening? Huh. For those who can receive it. OK, and some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have them dildo head Christians, 
most of them gonna believe not, but some of them that wasn't even exposed to us gonna believe you're fucking up your money you dumb nitwits it's nothing new under the sun man this is what's going on the book of acts again all right i'm gonna get one more precept uh big john fourth chapter started the 39th verse i think all right all right i'm gonna start at 39 john 4 and 39 and many of the samaritans of the city believed on him for the saying of the woman all right if you know the history of samaria in acts the 17th chapter uh the king of Samaria took the northern tribe over there and he put heathens in there, all right? So you, he put a bunch of Hamites up in there and other nations in there. But what people don't understand, uh, vagabond Jews would go flee to Samaria. Motherfuckers caught in adultery, uh, motherfuckers that was going off. You had a great number of Jews that would go there and live amongst the Samaritans because they were exiled amongst the, uh, among, amongst the, um, Salaki. I hate when I get tongue twired like the, the circumcision, all right? Because although we were under Roman rule, we still kept our laws. If you was going off, we stoned your fucking ass on sight, and the Romans didn't interfere. So you had wicked niggas that would go live amongst the Samaritans, all right? Because, like, look, when you look at, uh, uh, when you look at Cornelius, the Jews, Peter and them didn't deal with, although they was Israelites to the flesh, Peter didn't deal with them uh, Hellenized fucking Jews. That's why Yahweh, our great king, had to come give him a vision. So you had a lot of Jews over there in the, in the land of Samaria uh, that was uh, a bunch of niggers. All right? That's why you got to study your history. All right? And many of the Samaritans of the city believed on him for what the saying of the woman. And that was the woman at the well, okay? And they they believe, all right? Because the uh, our great king wouldn't have just lodged with no fucking heathens. All right? They were his, Israelites according to the flesh, man. All right? Which, which testified. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans would come out unto him, that besought him that he would tarry with them, and he bowed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. All right? So the outcasts believed on him. A lot of those people in the Christian church are outcasts, man. The outcasts are going to believe he's going to bring Israel back to them. All right? He's going to bring us out of every facet of life. And I can't, man, amongst our body, man, you got... You got brothers that work uh, in restaurants. We got uh, lawyers amongst us. We have uh, doctors amongst us. I mean, we have everything. We have law clerks among us, amongst us. All right. We got brothers that uh, make their living making uh, beats for musicians. All right. We have recreational therapists amongst us. We from every facet of life, man. We got f former killers amongst us, former dope dealers amongst us. All right. C comic book kings, brothers that was in fucking comics and shit, every walk of life. Computer, um, computer nerds amongst us. We have every facet of life amongst us in this truth, man. He pulls us from every month, every fast of life but one thing most of us have in common we grew up in that fucking harlot house called the modern day christianity church all right so with that lord willing this is this uh sit down was edifying to the hearers i'm gonna give infinite honors to you how about shimmy i was shot double honors to the apostles of great millstone and salutation and greetings to you sincere i can push this truth across the four winds quam yashirala